Rafael Nadal was the subject of a tell-all interview in Spain this week. Rafael Nadal has admitted that he would have changed many things during the course of his career in order to give him greater longevity in professional tennis. The Spaniard admits that Novak Djokovic has him beaten in that department, and doesn't hold out much hope of catching him in the men's all-time Grand Slam charts. Nadal has been out of competitive action since losing in straight sets to Mackenzie McDonald at the Australian Open back in January. The 37-year-old has since undergone surgery to address a hip injury, which has ruled him out of the 2023 season entirely. Having previously suggested that next year will likely be his farewell tour, Nadal has spoken out on his career so far, admitting that long-term rival Djokovic has been better due to his approach on and off the court. I would change many things in my life and my career, he told movie star. I have made wrong decisions when it comes to protecting my physique. Djokovic, he has done better because his way of playing has allowed him to play more than me. But I was wrong for thinking that my decisions were good. I have missed four and a half years of grand slams in my sporting career. This is reality and that is also what sport is about. That does not mean I am better than Djokovic because I have played less. He has been better because he has had a better physique or a way of playing that has allowed him to play more than me. You can live frustrated with 22 Grand Slams, for example, Novak lives it in a more intense way. For him, it would have been a greater frustration not to achieve it. Perhaps that is why he achieved it. Some fans felt that they had witnessed a changing of the guard when Djokovic was defeated by youngster Carlos Alcaraz at Wimbledon earlier this summer. But the Serb responded by returning to the top of the pile at the US Open, outclassing Daniil Medvedev in the final. Now on 24 Grand Slams, Djokovic is two titles ahead of Nadal and the Spaniard is not too optimistic of being able to make up the difference when he returns to the court in 2024. My dream is to play again, to be competitive again, not to win at Roland Garros or in Australia, he added. At this time in my life I am very far away from that. I am not saying it is impossible because these things change very quickly. But since Indian Wells last year, it has been a hard year and a half, with no peace of mind at all. The results mask the reality of day-to-day -day life.